All right. Um, here's a quick. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a quick uh, video of what I've been up to. Um, 3D mapping and uh, agricultural map, uh, mapping. Me and Natalie went to Ravenswood um, yesterday. Made her sit there for half an hour while I uh, mapped it out. Okay. So uh, I did Ravenswood. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Ravenswood here. This is uh, using Google Maps. So they use Google Maps. And as you can see how much clearer the new image is that lays over where you mapped out. I'm not sure how many acres. Let's find out how many acres I mapped out by grabbing um, this area tool here. And we'll go ahead and see how many uh, acres I mapped out in about 10 minutes. So click there, here, here, and finish here. And it should come up over here. How many acres? So it's my internet. Yep, there we go. 25.502 acres. It's pretty big. All right, so we'll go ahead and delete that. We need that more, but let's zoom in here and you can clearly see uh, how much clearer the pictures will be, or more than this one if it ever loads. Come on, there we go. Let's see if we can get in there. Over here, looks like a wedding was going on. But as you can see, way clearer than Google Maps. So, because 20 megapixel camera, which is awesome, flying my Phantom 4 Pro. So, zoom out. So, that's another, that's cool. So, let's go ahead. Geez. Okay, let's go ahead and do plant line. So, this will tell you where your dead spots are, um, what you can fix, you can do, you can, you can adjust what you want to look at from here. So, you can see where you're green. Looking good. You can see this dead here with the road. Everything that's red is obviously not plant life or dead. Are the tops? You can see here is all the wineries. You can see where the runoff goes in here. Let's do elevation. So this is my favorite. So this thing tells you how, you know, where your flat spots are, where your high spots are. You can see right here is where obviously when it rains, it runs down in here. How you can tell that is you can grab this distance tool, which measures from here to here. You click it here, and oops, so you can see where it dips. Whoop, right there. It's awesome. Let's go ahead and just delete this. Oh, there we go. Cool. And then another cool feature this thing has is the 3D mapping. It said my internet's super slow right now, so bear with me. I'm trying to make this video short and sweet. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. Come on. Zoom in, zoom in. Grab it. Go up. Do a little turn around here. Go up with it. I mean, uh, I'm still learning how to drive this thing. Let's grab this over here. Take a little shift and move. Yeah. So let's put it on here. Get out. Did a pretty good job. Not too bad. Pick it up. You can see. We have everything. Not bad. A little goofy, not too going to a little closer look. Yeah, I mean the house looks a little melted, but still pretty good. Yeah, it's kind of that. And that's it for the most part. I mean you can do the volume, you can distance, you can do your location, you can always like oh this place needs to be a parking lot, you can go ahead and type titles or whatever you want. You can put notes. Um I like this program. Um, whoever needs the mapping or trying to get into this agriculture stuff, give me a call.